We 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 continuing on with the Kanye button. Let's get it. Say another name. J Mike. Dead ugly money. Dead ugly money. Yeah. Say it's that ugly money. This is the ugly money podcast. It's about the process of success. Everything between your first dollar and your first million. That's ugly money. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to yet another episode of the Ugly Money Podcast. I am your host, Ugly Money Nietzsche, and my special guest of the evening needs no introduction, but we're going to introduce him anyway. <laughs> Clayco Ambassador. Clayco God. I like that. Yeah. Say amen. Amen. Pray to me. Hitmaker Extraordinaire. Innovator, motivator, mental health advocate. Yes, Ladies and gentlemen, Derez Deshaun is here. Yes, sir, Derez Deshaun. What's up, my brother? What's up, Widow? It has up, been a minute, man. I appreciate you coming back to see us, bro. I appreciate you having me back, man. A lot of things going on in the world today. You yes, know, a lot yes. of things been going on since the last time we talked. But I have to admit, I was uh, I had a chance to check out the new project. Oh, yeah. The one you just dropped. Yeah. I'm I'm glad to see that you have lost nothing and gained a lot more, which I didn't I would never be be able to think that you could gain more, but <laughs> this project bigger than me. Uh-huh. Talk to me about the inspirations uh going into uh making that project. Um just real life, just uh real life situations from things I'm going through, family members, um the relationship with my kids, how I've been going mm-hmm. lately. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, dealing with the pandemic and still working through that and still, you know, maintaining. And it's just the inspiration came from everything that's real, everything in reality, friends, um, business partners, um, associates, everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, the fact. Yeah, bigger than me. Now, um, my favorite song is, uh, I don't know, I'm, t- I'm torn between a bunch of them, but uh, in a, an abandoned Oh yeah, you, yeah. I like. I like it, it, yeah, my daughter love a band yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. You said something. Uh, you said, uh, <laughs> "I know that bitch don't love me, mm-hmm. but she said every chance she get. Mm-hmm. I know that bitch ain't for me, but I'm a fuck every chance I get." <laughs> Let's talk about that line. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know how you know she. I know that bitch ain't nothing. I know she ain't mine, but you know, shit, that pussy good, like. I ain't going, I'm going to hit it. I'm going to fuck with her. You know, yeah. She can be my little buddy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it sound good when she say she love me. Tell me a lie, baby. Tell you a lie. Mm-hmm. Now, when I heard that or whatever, I mean, it was it was, it was was a lot of parts. It was a lot of gems. You know, you got to really listen to you and turn, turn. you know, you got to turn it back. You got to rewind. We're like, wait a minute. Like, because you, you say it so smooth, but at the same time, if you really process what you say, you'd be like, wait a minute, hold on. He done, he done yeah, dropped he really a whole lot of gems. Huh? Yeah. Like, uh, you, you say, uh, they say love hurts, but pain heals. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's worse if they ain't real. You feel me? Because it's like, you got to go through the hurt to heal or what? Like, <clears throat> then you want to love, and it's like, I don't know. That yeah. pain to make you feel different, for real. So what was your mindset in, in the in the because it's, it's a lot of I don't want to use the word pain because we we yeah. know that but 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 it is it is it's it's there. Uh-huh. What what is the difference between the pain series and this this new new app new record? Um, well, the pain series kind of had like too many hands on it. Um, trying to orchestrate the situation, and in this situation, I'm like a hundred percent independent, mm. like all the way independent. I just got distribution with Vinny. Shout out to them. Shouts out to Venice. Yup. Yup. Um, Red Push, Manny, uh, Rocket Two Time, you know what I'm saying? So we really like we hands on. We we decide what we putting out. We gonna move out. We wanna move it. Nah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So no more, no more, no more training wheels, no more handcuffs, no more None of that. free. Now I can do me. Like I mean, I've been doing me, but it was, you know, it was hand picked what they wanted to display as me. You yes, feel sir. me? So, you know, like for example, with View you different, like I'm really trying to sing on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know, I've been I've been saying this for years. Like I'm an artist, not just a rapper. Like, I can do pop, rock, R and B, whatever. Like let me get in there. I can show you how great I am. You know? Nah, what I'm saying? yeah. That's the one thing I heard. I was like, yo, he's expanding his 
his range and his catalog and his and his project, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, or whatever, you know. So I got it. It's definitely it's, it's it's no skips. If you haven't heard it, you know what I'm saying. It's no skips on that bigger bigger than me. What what where did the, where did the title come from? Just real life, bigger than me. Everything bigger than me. This ain't about me. Mm-hmm. It's about everything around me. Everything that look up to me. Everybody. Everything that depend on me. Um, the society that we in today, like. Um, the, the the shit we go through as a people, like it, it's bigger than me. Like I'm, I'm that voice. Like I'm the one they gonna listen to. Like I'm the one who gonna get them through whatever it is. Whether you up getting money, or you down trying to figure it out, or you just partying and having fun. Yes, like sir. you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put them all the way in there. Mm. All right. So a lot of things been going on in the world, um, especially in Atlanta. Yeah. It seems like uh, in some shape, form, or fashion, it seems like Atlanta's under attack as far as rappers. Man, the world is, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts, facts. Um, let's talk about uh J Money. He just recently had it. Yeah, an I just seen that, man. Yeah, man. What you think about that? It's crazy. Yeah, he was he was uh, uh He's in LA. Yeah. Man, it's crazy, man. I'm gonna be a hundred, man. It's like <clears throat> I'm starting to think like, well, I mean, I've been we been new this, you know what I'm saying? But it's kind of like, you know, sometimes we are who we are and we move how we move because you know that's where we come from. Mm-hmm. But I'm starting to realize today, like being I'm 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 bigger than who that person is who I used to be. Absolutely. Like, you know, you, you we gotta start moving with responsibility. Like we gotta start acting like we are that nigga. Like mm. you know what I mean? Like we have to. I mean I know it's hard. It's even hard for me sometimes. I catch myself, you know what I'm saying? Like you see me like I just yeah, pulled yeah. up with me and my kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, like their family, I feel exactly. like I can do that. You feel me? But in our actuality, I shouldn't be like that. Like I gotta act like I am him. You know what I'm saying? At all times. You gotta move cautiously. Yeah, accordingly. We um we talked about that in our last interview, just talking about, you know, saying like, you know, it, it ain't lame to have security. Yeah, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it, if it's a valuable person that's that is being secured, you should have some protection around that valuable person. Right, right. We just lost takeoff. Man. Trash, man. That shit, though. Impact on that, man. Where was you at? Do you remember when you when you heard it? Man, um, no, nah, I don't know where I was at, but I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. Like, um, you know, <clears throat> that them them, you know, them situations, um, like mentally take a big toll on me. It'd it be hard for me to even speak on that. Especially when I'm knowing these people that you know what I'm saying? Like I just been kind of like lost, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be all the way one. I just been somewhere lost in the world, bro. Just, just, just trying to maintain. Gotcha. Cause that mentally takes a toll on me to speak of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Long live everybody. We don't lost like for real. Yeah, it is. Now I know you got some. Let, let's let's go on a lighter note. I know you got some. Uh, I know you got some crazy Migo stories, fondest memories. <laughs> anything, anything that you uh. That you want to share with the world, man. Fondest memories of uh, 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 with, with take off or, or the Migos? Uh, I don't know. Like it all depends. Like I, I'm just all right. Man, this is ugly so, with a podcast. Yeah, yeah, you, know you, you feel you me? Nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, so so I'm gonna say this. We can pull the drink I, I, up. I'm and a, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, but I'm 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 a, I'm gonna make sure it's understood how I said. Though. Got you. All right, so you know, this the old me, of course. Yes, sir. Like I remember, I never forget. Like when I first got on, um, like started doing um, Miley's and Adderall. Okay. <laughs> and we was in the club. We was at um, what we was at uh, Mansion, Mansion Elon. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm in there like, boy, y'all boy, I want one of these. I'm like, man, what the hell is that, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I re- yeah, that was that was probably one of my uh, like one of the memories that stuck in my head, like deep, no like you know what I'm saying. Nah, man, that's that, it's a beautiful thing, and, and you know it's dope when you look in hindsight of how far everybody's gone, come. You know nah, what I'm saying? Facts, facts. For you know, not even knowing at that time, you know what, what, what was going to be. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what was ahead of you? You know what I mean? As far as just career wise and, and, and life wise, you know what I'm saying? Not yeah. even knowing that, like, man, it's a whole bunch of millionaires in this month. You know, in man, this, in this for, one club man, at the real. time. You know what I mean? And we all was, you know what I mean? We 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 was all at the bottom with each other, like you know what I'm saying? Like, I still wake up and look at it, like you know. Sometimes it just it just it it it's a it's a timing thing, like you know, just keep going and do your thing because it's like 
I used to feel left out, right? I ain't gonna lie. I saw seeing niggas go up, up, up. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, I'm the only one ain't got in there yet. (laughs) You feel me? Yeah. But that didn't change how niggas rock with me though. Like niggas was still was still love with niggas. You feel me? Yeah. But it's just like my time came when it was my time to come, and it's like. Now I can look around the room and say, damn, bro, every nigga face I be seeing what we be at when we be out. I'm like, bro, I remember when we were fucked up. Like, when we was at the bottom when we first started, niggas. Like, and now we all in this bitch having our own type of motion. You know what I'm saying? Standing on shit like, yeah, that's us, this me, I'm him, you them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we walking like that. You feel me? Yes, sir. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing, man. Hey, um, you a south side guard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. A clay Steve. coat guard. Yeah. Uh, Southside has had a, a, another resurgence with, a, you know, Mulatto's doing her thing. Yeah. I mean, Southside always got some motion, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. That's one thing I can say about y'all side of town. Like, it's always going on. You know, we always got some things going on. Like, we, we never talked about Walker. We never talked about Walker before. What is, what is your relationship with Walker? And is it, you know what I'm saying? Have you had any... Uh, Ever had any, you know, saying situations or, 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 or funny stories or whatever as far as Walker Flock? Uh, I just seen them. Um, we was just in eleven forty five together, like uh, I want to say like a week ago, two weeks ago. Yes, I sir. just seen them. You know, it's just been cordial. It's just um, you know, I'm working, he working. We all in our different motion. We don't grow up like. Everybody ain't in it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. we just kind of did like, but in a good way, not yes, no, sir. oh, I don't want to be around a nigga or nothing. It's yeah. just like everybody working, having emotion, like I was just saying. Everybody moving around. Shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Chaz, he got the dogs going crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Should have went to got it, you feel come me? Come on, come on. Real talk, folk have emotion. No, shouts out, shouts out. Oh, uh, let's, we, we I, I don't feel it's right for us to do an interview with you and not talk Slim Duncan. Oh yeah, man. Gotta, Long you know live. what I'm saying? We always gotta just give our respect Long to Long live, man. man. You know Long live Dunk forever. And um I never got a slim dunking story from you. Yeah. I know I know it's a ton of them. Oh yeah, it's millions. <laughs> but it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Uh, uh, one of your favorites uh slim dunking stories. Um one time we was on the road coming back, me, him. My cousin Day Day, um, I don't know who all this was in the car, but this nigga lit a firecracker in the car. Oh my god! And threw it at me. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? That bit popped and down there bust our eardrums in the car, man. Oh man! I remember. Yeah, he used to be wild though. He threw a like, firecracker in the car, bro. Yeah, he was. He was. Um, what what that what that funny TV show them boy be doing? Um, Jackass. Jack he was Jackass before Jackass. <laughs> He was on that bullshit, tasing niggas and shit. Like, oh man, shots out, man. Long live dunk, man. Long, long live, live long live. Now, um, you quit music, yeah, and and started using mm-hmm. when dunk passed, yeah, because it was just like um, dunk passed, and two months later, my little cousin passed, and all kind of other shit was going on. At that time, I I ain't had no stable situation. I was sleeping house to house, sometimes even sleeping in the rental cars I had, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and it was just like, I mean, and, 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 and I'm glad that, you know, I grew from that that position in that dark place because at that time, it's just like, I only, I think I only did drugs is because <laughs> that's what, like, we grow up seeing. Like, when yeah. you fucked up, do drugs. Like, forget about it. Just get Try high. Kicks USA, where we kick it the American way. They buy, they sell, they trade. New and pre-owned men, women, and kids sneakers. So hit them up on Instagram, K-I-X-X-U-S-A, to get your exclusive releases, to get your rare ones, and to get some of these new Jordan Retro 11s that ain't even out yet. But Kicks got them. It's that Ugly Money. Official sponsor of the Ugly Money Podcast. I'm yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so... Me growing and, and, and going through those pains and being where I'm at today, like I can look back and really say, like, that shit wasn't good. That shit wasn't about nothing. I don't encourage nobody to go that route no matter what you're going through. Just keep your head strong, keep faith strong, pray to God, keep God first, man. It's gonna work out, man. Everything got its time. How do you how do you come out how do you come out of that? You know, when uh, you're in a you're in a low place. Because I think that's where really where the lesson's at, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For a person to be on a high with their with their partner and lose that, mm-hmm. and then you know hit a low, hit a real low. How do we how do we come up out of that low? I mean, um, for me, 
I ain't gonna lie, it was the drugs. I'm, I'm, but I'm being honest though, yes, you know sir. what I mean? It was the drugs because it, it kept me numb to like what's inside, what's internal. It wow. kept my thoughts just blank. You know what I mean? Like far as the, the, the pain that it caused, but it, it kept me, it, 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 it enabled me to go in the studio and just work like a monster. Like I ain't gonna lie, like, um, you know, them drugs enhance you for real. Like, no cap, you know, uppers. And I was on uppers. I went on, like, I, don't, I ain't really with the downers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Unless I'm going to sleep. Like, <laughs> just like, if I want a little taste of lean, you know what I mean? <laughs> just because it tastes good. You feel me? But mm -hmm. mine was uppers. I'm in there working, not thinking about nothing. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. So, them, uh, <laughs> so yeah. the things used to wake you up, and that's how you got about that. Hey, man, let me tell you something, right? <laughs> you finna get some exclusive shit yes, right sir. quick. So I was working last night in the studio, and I realized, like, what you just saying that? Yeah. I said, um, I said, um, getting geeked out my mind, fall asleep, pop a pill, can't let her see me snoring, can't <laughs> let her see me yawning. You know what I'm saying? Wake up in the morning, pop a pill in the morning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, for real. Now, nah, put it in the music, man. Yeah. Was, uh, was Dirt Gang ever, a, uh, like, a part of Brick Squad Monopoly? Oh, uh, I mean, I don't think it's in my position to speak on how that went. Like, I was just, we were just family, bro. So I don't really know the, the verbiage of that situation and how it went or if it was actual contracts or any type of things for us. But we was family, like, who, whatever you was, Brit Squad, Dirt Gang, Fetty Gang, whoever. Yes, sir. Like, if you, you know, you was just family. Did you ever, did you ever have a relationship with Gucci at all? Yeah. Talk to me about what? Shit, he cool, serious, funny too, though. Like he funny as hell. Yeah. Yes. He seemed like he's he was reserved until he feels like he's safe around the person. You know what I'm saying? Oh like yeah, yeah. Nah, he cool. Well, I mean, you know, back then, you know, um, but him too, he changed a lot around too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Gucci man, that nigga up man. Like, yo, example, somebody to look up to. You know what I mean? Now, in your music, does the Rez Deshaun trust women? No. I don't trust nothing, <laughs> nobody, woman, man, dog, cat, snake. I don't trust nothing. Because <laughs> if, if you listen to the lyrics, it, 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 it's, it's very apparent that it doesn't seem like, you, you know, you got. do you feel like you got trust issues? I know I do. Like, <laughs> I'm too, knowing man. I do. No, me too. Like, me no too. cap. Like, I know it. Me too. Now, um... Do you think that had anything that, with your mom, the situation? I, you, I remember you, uh, you had said that your mom had yeah, abandoned you. It do. It got all to do with it. Like, on top of what individual women did to me in my life. You know what I'm saying? I actually, like, I did four songs last night, and I actually was on that one right there. And I'm going to give you another exclusive on that song called um, Miss Call from Heaven. I really can play you a little snippet, but. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'll wait. What, if, um, let, let, let's, let's go, let's go, let's dive deep into the women, man, because, uh, I be, I be, I be needing to talk to my brothers too, man, because I be yeah. going through, I be going through some certain things, you know what I mean, and, and and a lot of times, how do we get to the point of finding that woman, or we feel as that woman, and learning to try to trust her? <clears throat> I'm finna give you guaranteed, 100 honesty for me and what I did, right? <clears throat> so I don't think I'm gonna ever be able to trust a, a woman. Or any, I mean anybody, not yeah. just particularly a woman. But in this particular situation, since we talking about a woman, yes sir, I'm engaged now. Yes sir, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It ain't easy. I don't think it's gonna get easier, but I just know that I don't want to figure it out with nobody else. Like I don't want to fight with nobody else. I'm not trying to start over with nobody else. So whatever we going through, people make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And I think me getting older and, and actually learning from the situation with my mom. Mm -hmm. Instead of just using that as a as a a reason to be mad, yeah, like yeah. I'm learning from it now, and I'm just saying like I'm gonna try. I ain't giving up. Like I don't give a fuck what's going on, nigga. We ch I cheat, you cheat, we cheated. I'm sorry, you sorry. We got kids. You forgive me, I forgive you. And if this is what we doing, this is what we doing. Like like being in a relationship is is a is a team thing. It's like. Perfect. A, you feel me? You gotta, you gotta be like, hey, you fucked up, but I got you, my nigga. Don't, don't hold your head down too long. We gotta still win and shit. Now let's get it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Championship time. Nah, that, that, that's dope. So you, you, you're saying that you're engaged now. By, by, yeah. by the way, congratulations. Yes, thank you, thank you. But you still don't trust. 
Hell no. <laughs> and she know I know. <laughs> she know I know. I, you know what? I do trust her. I trust her to be a female. <laughs> Oh man! Hey, you know uh, we lost Kevin Samuels this year, man. Uh, yeah, shouts out to the Godfather, and you know that's like been the viral thing going on 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 the internet as far as you know men versus women and things of that nature. You know that that whole yeah. that whole tug of war. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, uh, did you ever watch any Kevin Samuels man, videos? Yes, man. What man? He was rocking with him. I used to. Man, Come on, man. Look, let me tell you See, something. I knew, this my, I knew this was my Listen, dog. listen. Somebody feel the way I feel. I used to send that <laughs> shit to my girl like, See, this that shit I be trying to tell <laughs> you, man. You don't fucking listen. <laughs> hey, they be hot, bro. Bro, sometimes I used to come home, bro. And I would just, I would just have it on my phone. I just play it and yeah. won't say nothing. It's just loud as hell. And just fifteen minutes and she later, probably she probably over the But she just get an attitude. Yeah, cut that shit off. Uh-huh. I know. Yeah. I was on the same shit. I think. I think. I'm sending it and doing that. No, for sure. Oh, you? Ain't, I don't see the scene. All right. <laughs> I yeah. think I think <laughs> women didn't like Kevin Samuels because he used to hold, hold them accountable for their shit. I, all right. So on that note, I just think that women. Are just generally women, bro. Like they are different, special, unique creature. Mm-hmm. Like love them. You got to love them, though. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, and, and um, going through that with my mom, you know what I'm saying. I, I I give I got the most high respect for women. Like you know what I'm saying. I ain't gonna lie. Like I ain't been a fuck nigga and slapped the bitch around before. Uh, 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 been nice on some bullshit. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm always be honest. Yes, sir. But now, where I'm at in my head, like, I'm telling you, bro, I'm so different, bro. I've been clean. I don't do no drugs, bro. Amen, brother. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Amen. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing shit different. I'm understanding different. It's like something on the inside of me is shifting. So it's like, you know, women, bro, they just are who they are. They going to have their views. You can't tell them shit. Um, you just gotta love them. You just gotta be there, like, yeah, all right, baby, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, speaking of trust, you know, Scottie Pippen's ex wife is dating Michael Jordan's son. Yeah, see, see, I'm, jokingly, all right, <laughs> if I was Scottie Pippen, yeah, hey, on Jay, what the hell, yeah, but we got shit to talk about, man. You feel me? Jokingly, though, yeah, you feel me? Nah, that's the, I, when I saw the when I saw the shit, how the hell, nephew, you hear my old shit. That's, that's <laughs> when, you, when you talk about not trusting women, I see where you coming from. Like, man. you gonna go, you gonna go sleep with nephew? No, God damn, baby. And she out in public with him. Yeah, I don't, yo, mm, damn, that hurt. Out of out of the billions of people in the world, you gotta go get your nephew. Yeah, that shit hurt. I know that hurt. I think I think she purposely trying to trigger, bro. And get what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, I don't, I don't, hey, man. See, my role models told me back then, don't trust them bitches. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And now, when I say that, too, I want to address that. When I say bitches, I mean bitches. Yes, sir. When I say hoes, I mean hoes. Mm-hmm. When I say queen, I mean queen. Yeah. Women, I mean women. Like, you feel me? I yeah, ain't ain't talking to you unless yeah. you reply to it. Yeah, like, exactly. Unless you apply or reply. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Now, um, the dating scene. I know mm-hmm. you. I know you. Uh, you hitch now, mm-hmm. but before you got hitch, you know Vanessa two times recently said that you know simps messed up the dating scene because all these guys is paying these girls to date them. What do you think about it? That shit been going on. <laughs> Niggas been tricked. That's what a sugar dad is. That that been going on since I was a little nigga. But in you high know school. that sugar dads used to be old niggas. Now it's young niggas that be sh- tricking like tricking. I mean, out. I mean, yeah. But but this, this, this the thing. This is how I look at the yeah. game, right? Cause I I you know, me and my fiance, you know, we 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 live life. That, that's all we need to say. You feel me? And if you if you know, you know. Yeah, if you know, you know. <laughs> so I'm one of them. Yes, sir. Hey, baby, I ain't trying how much? Yeah. Oh, all right, come on. You feel me? <laughs> cause I ain't trying to get into all that. I don't you hear the song? Yeah. I don't need your number because I don't call a text. Mm. I'm just trying to, you know what I mean? She get you out of my face afterwards. You feel me? They know, hey man. <laughs> I ain't nothing wrong with that. No, get La in, ba- get out. La- La baby say, uh the baby say he ain't paid nobody sixteen thousand. He said he but he didn't deny that he paid some. Chill, fat. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out <to> La Baby. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> 
Moving forward. Um, you used to work at Waffle House. Yes, sir. How how hard is that? Because I had one of my family members talking about they was working at Waffle House, and I was uh, they were about to go work at Waffle House, and I was mm. scared to, to let them go because I was like, bro. After two o'clock, that is the most dangerous, most disrespectful place in the world to work. Man, I've been seeing, yeah, nigga been getting their ass beat up at Waffle House. Bro, that shit. <laughs> like, bro, like Waffle House don't turn into the, you know what I mean? Like, oh, when I don't, when I was there, one the party. Yeah, but niggas will leave the club. Niggas get kicked out the club, leave the club, get kicked out, and go to Waffle House to finish the fight. Yeah, see, that's crazy. That don't even make no sense. Craziest thing you saw when you was working at Waffle House. Um, the craziest thing I seen, I don't think I really seen nothing crazy for real. I wasn't there like long, like long enough to really see nothing crazy. So, so you ain't never work at nighttime after the club and shit. Nah, see the crazy thing, right? I used to work that first, like the you know the the first in the morning, shit, like the nine in the morning, okay. shit. Okay, that's cool. That's and old then old. nah, and then I did work that night, motherfucker. But my my spot was dead, like it were. I worked at the one on um. What is that right there? Uh, far apart way, like right there by, if you go right, you go on more than if you go a little 42. Yeah. Right yeah, there, yeah, quick yeah. trip. Okay. Yeah, I used to work at that one over there, like right there, on, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. by the McDonald's. You know, uh, I, I always wondered, I'm like, they got to pay the people, they got to pay them more at night because of the things they got to deal with. Because sometimes <laughs> I go to Waffle House, you know what I'm saying, it should be something, like I, I bring a chick to Waffle House and it seems like they automatically get an attitude. <sighs> I want my hash browns scrambled and covered, and I need them fried hard. I'm like, baby, get some fucking bacon and eggs. Nah, because sometimes them folks do be fucking up, bro. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. You know, if you watching my Instagram, I'm putting niggas on blast. All these restaurants, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? God damn, man, cook the food. You know what I'm saying? For real. Now, um, during that time period, you were you were waiting on your single to, to pop. Mm-hmm. Because No, nah, during that time period, I just was waiting on anything to happen. Amen. Yeah. No, a lot of because I, I talk to a lot of artists or whatever, um, consultations and things of that nature, and I and I be telling people, I be like, I don't believe an artist should quit their job until their career is to a point where they can sustain a lifestyle. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do you for an upcoming artist, would you advise them to keep a nine to five while they pushing after their dream, or just say fuck it and just go after it? I would advise them to um, do whatever they got to do, you know what I'm saying, to get to a comfortable place, mm. you know, to try to pursue the dream. Because, you know, it ain't, man, man, that shit ain't easy. I ain't going to lie to you. I did it. I quit. Like, I was like, I can't do this work and shit. I got to rap. <laughs> and I went through some shit. You know sometimes, what I'm sometimes that job really put that battery in your back. Like, look, bro, I, I can't do this. So this shit got to work. That's what happened to me. Like, That's how I, mean, I was like, in the Army. I was in the Army. I'm eight like, years, man, man, hell. I said, hell. I'm not. Like, listen, the last job I had was um, uh, UPS. Yup, UPS. Or the feeling. Man, I did that shit because I had to, right? Yeah. Man, one day I might have got a heavy ass box and said, fuck this shit. I ain't doing this, bro, for the rest of my life. Well, I'm rapping, man. This ain't it. I figure it out. Yeah, yeah, baby mama done what? You stupid as that lame man, nigga. How you going? Hey man, I don't know. Can't I'ma figure it. it out. And it worked. Can't do it. But I ain't advising nobody else to do that. Yeah, keep your job or do what you do, get your side hustle. Sell how you know really, yeah. really people who you know what I mean like you know coming from my situation where I was from like people really got ways to make money at home like if you, got, if you a hustler yeah like you do your sister gonna have every weekend to go to school do they friend yeah my little daughter's like she want to start babysitting my girlfriend my girl's friends babies mm -hmm. to make her money. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you better get. Ain't nobody some gonna money. pay you. Ain't nobody gonna pay you like you. When you really think about the time and the energy and the effort you got to put into certain jobs and the paycheck you get back after Took. the government chop your ass man, up, what? man, you could have you could have found you a hustle or something, something to man. something to buy cheaper and sell it. You know, more expensive. Like, right, let me tell you, when you just said that, I got pissed off. Right? Imagine working goddamn a nine to five, two weeks straight, and you get a check, and that bitch say three fifty. <laughs> And you be like, what? You be like, what? Oh, you got to put a hole in the week in a hole. Man, you don't give me my goddamn money, man. <laughs> you feel me? And they be playing with you, man. What? 
Now, um, <laughs> let's 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 go back. Let's go back to uh, the Hardaway days, man. Let's go back to the Hardaway days. This episode is being brought to you by Engorge Rejuvenation Tea, promoting erections, improving stamina, promotes endurance, increases size, and boosts libido. If you really want to give her that pressure, make sure you go to Engorge.com today. E N G O R G E dot com. Official sponsor of the Ugly Money Podcast, all natural male supplement. You're doing very well. And this one thing I always wonder, you know, uh, of course the world remembers the time that y'all went to the breakfast club Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, things broke out with Birdman. Mm -hmm. Now, when, does he prep you? Because I recently had a situation similar. Does he prep you for, I'm about to go in here (laughs) and tell these folk what's going on or is it just like we just walking into a regular interview? See, and you know the more that I get asked that, and the more that I try to think, I'm just like, oh no, man! Like I was in my own spot. Like, bro, I'm sitting next to Bird, man. Yeah. Like, I'm in my own head. Like, man, I am with Bird, man. Like, I can't believe it. Like, and shit happened. I'm like, oh, like, whoa! Like, I woke up from that shit yeah, yeah. quick. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So it's like I don't really remember, but I do remember, like, you know what I'm saying? When we like. A little bit after, like, you know, when all that shit was done. Yeah. And I ain't never say this because, I like, I never think about it. Like, mm-hmm. I remember, like, the meme shit came up immediately. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was quiet. The first nigga seen the meme. Nigga started laughing. Yeah. Bird like, oh, yeah, fuck him. Make him put some respect on this shit. The song <laughs> come up. The nigga, we do the song. We go straight to New Orleans, do the song. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shirts and shit is up. Like, yes, sir. I'm like, damn, man. You know what I'm saying? Made it a moment. What? So, so he took advantage he, he, of that he ain't shit. prep you. He ain't prep you at all. He's like, yo, look, I'm about to go tell these niggas off. Nah, and, 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 and imagine this. Even if he was, I yeah. ain't hearing that because I'm like, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yo. I'd probably we, would yeah. say, whatever, we you, what? uh, whatever you with. Oh, bro. okay, okay. Well, you want me? Oh, I can go ahead too. All right. You know what I'm saying? How is your relationship with Charlamagne? Um, I ain't really, you know, Talk to him or none, but I, I feel like it should be wherever it was at that moment. Like, yeah. he was a good person. He wasn't tripping on the situation. He actually liked that I did yeah. that. Like, he was like, you should have ad lived my shit, nigga. Turn my shit up louder. I'm like, yeah, you right. No. I don't know who told him to slur your name out. Nigga, I didn't. <laughs> you feel me? Goddamn right. Shouts out Charlotte, man. Yeah. So, you, you, you're going to the breakfast club. Mm-hmm. You're about to slap Charlemagne with Bird, man. Mm-hmm. They put some respect on it. As we finish, as we done. Yeah. After all these things, you was on the Rich Gang album. Why didn't you sign with Bird, man? I always wondered that. I don't even know, man. That's another course. That's another um, topic that that made me kind of. I don't know how to answer that because mm-hmm. I think last time that I answered that question, I don't know if I answered it right or, or to the understandings of people like you know. People always kind of like make up shit on certain shit, like how you say shit. Mm-hmm. So that's one of them subjects. Yeah, like I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna fall back from that. I don't really, yeah, cause I don't know the proper way to put that out put there like out that. There. Like you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like no bullshit or nothing. Yeah. Like yeah, it was odd. Like you know, maybe if I if if I could go back, or maybe if I would have knew better then, shit would have been different. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. It's just the situation. Well, it turned out all right for you, sir. It turned yeah. out, I mean, you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're here. So everything happens for a reason. You know for what I'm sure. saying? Now, um, Rallo. I just talked to Rallo this morning. Yeah, man. I, um, you know, I be doing my research, Rez. You know, I be, I be, I be knowing yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, let, give us an update on Rallo. Man, he good, man. Um, Working on music. Um, He got two. To uh, you know, I be forgetting today's time. Do we call them tapes or do we call them albums? Whatever the fuck you wanna. Yeah, he got EPs. two projects. Yeah, there you go. Project. Uh, yeah, he got he got two projects already. He just waiting on a couple um, you know uh, different features and mixes and That's shit right. like that. Um, but yeah, bro, good. Like he ready. Like he ready, ready. We have any? Yeah, any? Do we know any time that he's supposed to be getting out? I know he's supposed to be soon. I don't know. Sure. A spe- yeah, I don't know a specific date because you know I kind of like stay away from. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I just try to be strong with bro. We just talk shit like we just, man. What the hell going? On? Oh no, nah, you know I love you to death, nigga. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I love you too forever. Look, the fuck you doing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we just talking dude. shit. Yeah. <laughs> he asked me. He just hit me too um, the other day, and he was like, "How the album doing?" 
And you know, I don't know, um, I don't know where the calculations come from, but I didn't know this, but I know you probably know this. Mm-hmm. Um, Bigger Than Me did 13 million streams in the first week. Come on. Four million streams in under four hours Come on Spotify. On. <laughs> Come on. And I'm telling bro talk this that shit. Talk, you sir. feel me? I'm telling bro, I'm like, yeah, man. He like, how the hell I'm doing? I'm like, you know, because we don't, I, yeah. We don't, we don't, like, I don't Put know about that. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm like, shit, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. That bitch did 13 million screens. And, you know, I told him what I just said. Yeah. He's like, wow, we don't care about that. I can show you the tip, man. You know, we don't care about that. Oh, that's our <laughs> diary, man. We don't give a fuck about those streams. <laughs> if we make money, if we make money, okay, but this is our diary. And I'm like, yeah, you right. You know what I'm saying? Facts. You know what I'm saying? Free Rollo, man. Free Rollo, man. Free Rollo. Free all the real ones, man. Free For all the sure. real ones, man. Now, um, like I, like we said before, you know, um, rap is becoming a very dangerous hobby. Seems like. Man. Do you feel that rap is the most dangerous job in the world? Um, and this is one of them questions why I gotta be careful how I answer that. Okay. Um, to my own understanding, speaking to if I was talking to myself, yeah. Um. I don't think that is the most dangerous job unless you're not, um, and I'm speaking to me, unless I'm not moving how I'm supposed to be moving. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it's like, you know, um, hate always, you know, they always tell us hate start, you know, where we come from. Like, you move away from where you're from. Mm. But that hate be there, that shit everywhere. It's just that sometimes in, in, in different areas or different cities or different towns, we feel like it ain't hate because we ain't around this shit every day. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Nigga may be trying to kick the one, two, yeah, man, you my favorite, woo, and then try to put you in the blender <laughs> after the fact. You feel me? Shit. I done been in plenty of shows, but my folks ain't playing that. When they peep that, they is on your ass. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Shout out to my team. And I don't even go out a hundred deep no more. That's I'm crazy. going out like three, four deep, and just we rocking gotta, out. Just got to move right. Fast. Because a lot of, you know, um, I was I was listening to Big Boogie Boogie Boogie. Actually, Big Boogie's gonna be on the show next week. Yeah, that's brother. And he was talking about sometimes people will book you just to set you up. I've definitely seen some shit like that. I mean, God, thank you, God, that that ain't happened to me. But I damn sure seen that shit. Happen. Dude, will drop that deposit yeah. just to try to do something to it. Just to get you though. That's crazy. Yeah, but but you gotta know that that shit going on, like man. Yeah, see, I'm going to let them know how really smart I am if I keep talking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm let Let's change subjects. <laughs> we don't want to let y'all know too much. Yeah. Talk to me about working with Summer Walker. Shout out to Summer Walker. Shout out to Ariarian. Shout out to London on the track for putting me in that position and giving me that opportunity. But um, that was beautiful. That was amazing. Um, That's probably like, you know, alone from Hardaway. I think working with Summer in London was like a peak of one of mine for my career because I'm already a fan. You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? I'm and then to be a part of her history because that album did some shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That shit mm-hmm. changed some shit up. And I'm like, damn, man, I'm on it. The first one, too? Yeah. The, for the, when you play it, that me? Yeah. I'm like, yo, yeah, shout out to these folks. And they did you know, everything the right way because I've been writing for motherfuckers. Yeah. But I ain't never get... um. Accredited or, 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 or even a shout out, even a pose wow. like niggas ain't even, you know what I'm saying? I don't roll some shit, but it's cool. I don't figure it out now. I'm gonna go in there like old school, put that paper right on the desk for anything. <laughs> you get them splits right. Yeah, fast. <laughs> hey man, um, last time we, we spoke, we talked about the ride wave comparisons. Mm-hmm. Um, and you spoke eloquently on the situation. Uh-huh. You didn't speak with no malice in your heart. Uh-huh. Um, and, and I respect that. Has there been any reaching out? Has there been any flowers given? Has there been any salutes from afar since the last time we spoke? Not, not, not towards me, no. But I've been still reaching. I've been still supporting. I, I just posted them last night. He got a song on that new one, uh, what, Jupiter Seven Day Theory? Yeah. He got a new one on that, um, The Answer's No. Mm. Yeah, I hit him. Hey, bro, send me an open verse. This bitch fire. Come on. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep going, man. I mean, but I respect it, though. 
I mean, he ain't got no, I mean, it ain't no reason for him to fuck with me. Like, he don't know me. I don't know him. Um, he definitely knows you. I mean, I'm saying personally. <laughs> okay. You feel me? I'm about to say. Like, yeah, personally. You, you, we, can, we cannot overlook the similarities. We cannot overlook the, the just, just the, you know, the, 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 I mean, yeah, I dig. I don't want to. You know, I don't want to <laughs> yeah, say it, I but you know what I'm saying. Like, I dig, I dig. But you know what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. You can't just overlook that. Like, yeah, yeah. I ain't no way you can wake up and say, "Oh no, nah, I don't yeah, know." Yeah, I just, I just thought about this all up yeah, my own. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I feel you. Know, I feel you. You know what I mean? But nah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep reaching. Same way I'm gonna keep reaching that crib around. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? One of these days they gonna hit my line. Did you ever meet Mo Three? Yeah, for sure. That's dope. Yeah, he a real man. Long live him. For real, Shut that shit. See what another I mean? But that shit crazy, it's a man. Lot of, it's, a lot, man. it's a lot going on, bro. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what it do make me feel, though. You know, with 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 the uh, with the with the state that hip hop is in right now, mm -hmm. I'm definitely out of nigga business. I'm Come definitely on. out the way. Don't tie me in with no shit. I ain't got nothing to do with none of that. I ain't speaking on it. I ain't don't ask me. I don't, you know what I mean? Keep and I'm the type of nigga though, you know what I'm saying? But I've been like that because it's different. When you when you come from a certain place, you you move a certain way and you say certain you do certain shit. So you know I'm the type of nigga before I even push up or do anything with other niggas, I'm asking like, hey, you and buddy don't be y'all good, y'all, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. talk to Charlotte, y'all cool, like yeah, yeah. oh, you don't mind and what you call it, pull up with me, like, you know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some niggas just don't give a fuck. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't, man. Um Let's talk Kanye, man. Let's talk Kanye West. Kanye West is running for president. You voting for him? Again? <laughs> Again. Oh, that's he hard. He just announced it. That's hard, but we we all know. <laughs> that ain't happening. Ain't no disrespect to my dog. Please don't, please, please don't go on there and try to shit on me on your next interview. Yay, I'm rocking with you. But you know these folk don't want to see you in that chair. They don't want to see Kanye in there, man. And, and, and I'm going to be honest with you now. Yeah. I ain't joking. Like, me, I think it's some sense to the shit that Kanye got going on. Okay. I'm thinking he got plenty of sense. Yeah. But these folks trying to, you know what I mean, like, make you think different. Yeah. Like, Kanye crazy, I ain't Kanye crazy. I think Kanye is definitely trying to tell people something that the, the, some the shit powers be, that be that. that yeah, yeah, no. Nah, some shit. I just be like, now, why the hell you say that? Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying overall, like, yeah. just trying to put you down, put you on game, and, and, and stand up and speak for the people. Like, he ain't scared, and this is rare. You know, you only have certain people in this world or in this lifetime that we going to live that will stand on shit and be like, nigga, yes, I said that. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what? You know what I'm saying? No, nah, facts. This nigga's like me that be like, oh, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Mm -mm. Don't say that shit to me. Don't ask me that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no fact. fact, fact. Kanye, I still, Kanye, Kanye ain't got that button, bro. Yeah, I'm still trying to button. say I'm still trying to go platinum again. Just yeah. chill. You know what I'm saying? I need the people with me. Yeah, Kanye ain't got that button. I'm just bullshit. Kanye, Kanye ain't got that button. Kanye ain't gonna yeah. say what's on it. Kanye ain't gonna say what you want. He, he ain't gonna, gonna think about it. He's gonna say the first thing that come to him, man. He ain't Man. even gonna be like try to dress it up right or make sure it's, you know, nah, he's Kanye. Kanye going. inspired me. Like, I done made a couple posts straight off the top. Like, I don't give a yeah. fuck. But I know better. Like, oh, no, nah, I shouldn't have did that. Hey, I'm man, tripping. Speaking of, speaking of elections, have you seen the Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker commercials? <laughs> man. I don't, I, don't, I don't even watch TV like that, but I'm going to tell you one I did catch, though. Yeah, I caught one with uh, Herschel Walker doing some type of dance on the face, <laughs> and I'm like, "What the hell is going on?" Like, hey, bro, they be dragging Herschel Walker. Dog. Yeah, I be hearing shit about him. It sound like Charlotte didn't play no radio. <laughs> oh, man. He put a gun to my head. Oh, hey, bro, this has like, um, I, I, you know, every I, first and foremost, shouts out to the to the promotional team because like you can't watch nothing on YouTube or the TV and not see. Uh, uh, Bro, Herschel yeah, Walker yeah, ain't shit commercial. Yeah, no, nah, for real. Like, all right, now I've been seeing that yeah. shit. Because, you know, I be doing a lot of, like, you know what I'm saying, for the people out there that didn't know this about me, I study a lot of shit, like, you know, ancient civilizations, yeah, yeah. And ancient religions mm -hmm. and cultures and shit. You're trying to, you're trying to wake up. And I'm, fact. Yeah. And I'm looking at shit. I'm talking about I'm hearing the most positive messages in the world. Yeah, you know, da da da, da, da. Back in the day, this was the first... 
hey, have you seen Warnock's voters? And I'm like, what? <laughs> They're coming on in, aren't they? <gasps> Man, what? get the hell out of here. I need to upgrade to YouTube Platinum on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to Hershey Walker and Raphael Warnock. Yeah, for man. sure. I, I don't know who's going to win, but. Uh, <laughs> hey, I thought they. Uh, they got a runoff right now. Oh, so it was tie? Yeah, it was a runoff. They got a runoff. Hey, man. No, I ain't even going to say that. See, see how I'm wise enough? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll talk to you about that see, later. See, later. <laughs> yeah, I'm wise enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he ain't got the Kanye button, y'all. Nah, he ain't got the Kanye nah. button. We can give, just... me the, give me a big and I'll let that big go. Let, let, let's let's see. I got I got some I got some Kanye button questions. All right. And then you could either push the Kanye button and say what you want, or we can go to the next subject. Hey, that might be hard. That's all right. You right need there. to add that. Come on, the Kanye Kanye button. button. Boom. I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I want to say. Ooh. Or I will go to the next question. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna do it. All right. I'm gonna say a name. Twenty one Savage. I don't. What he he done did? Huh? Shout out to Twenty One. He lit. I fuck with bro. There it is. See? This is good. This, this works. Okay, we got another one. Wife and Lucci. Free Lucci. You get, you get good at this. Oh, yeah. We on, man. We, <laughs> yeah. I'm okay, man. I learned. <laughs> you get, you I, get I good still, at this. I still make a few mistakes here and there, but I learned a little bit. You you, you getting good at this, man. I think I'm running, I'm, I'm running, I'm running out of stuff. Um, The YSL Rico. Damn, man, that shit, that hurt. That's painful. Free, you know what I mean? Freedom folk, man, you know, people come from a place where they trying to change their life. No matter, I don't know how that shit happened or what's really in the shit, because, you know, I, like I say, I stay out folk business. Mm -hmm. But, man, I don't wish that shit on nobody, dog. Like, freedom, free everybody. Do you think, like I said before, do you think that, Atlanta hip hop is under attack. I don't even think it's Atlanta hip hop. I just okay. think it's hip hop. I That's just think chance. that, you know, it, 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 I don't like honestly, bro. It be hard for me to understand that shit because I don't be on it. Like I don't live like like I yeah. don't like when you see me, bro. You see me with my kids, and if yeah, you yeah. gangster and you want to get out like that. They get down. I'm gonna show you what's really game. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I ain't no, I ain't being tough. I'm yeah. just being a hundred. Yes, sir. Hey, baby, get in the car with your sister and lock that door. Don't let nobody in anymore. Fuck. What's up, bro? Like, if that's what we on, but I move with no malice. I don't have no ill intentions towards nobody. I don't hate on nobody. Like, I'm moving around this motherfucker. Like, like God sent me here. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna live like that. I'm gonna go where I want to go with my kid. I ain't tripping. I ain't gonna taunt no nigga or none of that. Like, but yeah, I don't know, man. I don't. I don't live like that, bro. I, I, I fear God. Amen. You know what I mean? And I live in a, in a, in a way where I got a son. And I only got one son, and I, I gotta show him how to be a man, not Thanks. a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Come on, talk about and it. as a man, you got morals and principles and shit you stand on, which a lot of motherfuckers that they don't have. You get where I'm going? So it's like I don't move the way these niggas be moving, and I don't respect how a lot of these niggas be moving. Yeah. yeah. Cause you don't want you, you know what I mean? Think about their kids. They probably don't even kick that one with their kid. My girl get on my ass because I'm too real with my kids. Mm. You feel me? Oh man, I remember we was over here, nigga raw, Uncle Wink right there. Uh Uncle said, goddamn pistol with the nigga right. My girl be like, bro, why is you like I don't want them to know all that? I'm like, they need to know that. All this fake bougie shit they got damn here all fake day. Fake bougie shit. That's exactly you feel what it me? is too. That's my exactly little girl got an attitude, bro. She be no, and I am not racist. But we all know what's for, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The little white girls you see on the Disney Channel and shit, how mm -hmm. they be being mean to their friends and shit. My little girl thinks she gonna talk to me like that. Come on. She be like, what? No. Who the hell are you talking to? Yeah, facts. Man, I will. What? And yeah. I do whoop ass. I whoop the shit out of my kids. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Good old fashioned one. <laughs> you feel me? Hey, man, this segment is being brought to you by Engorge Rejuvenation T. Promotes erections, improves stamina, promotes endurance, increases the size and boosts libido. Make sure you go to Engorge. Dot com that's e n dash g o r g e dot com to get yours today all natural male supplements shots out to engorge we 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 continuing on with the Kanye button let's get it say another name J Mike next question there it is next question 
you really using the extension cord from your neighbor's house to uh, to, to light up your your, your house? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Hey, that's broke for real now. Hey, I'll never forget. His name was Old School. Yeah. He stayed right next door. I ran it out my the front room of the apartment into his son room. Well, stepson room in his room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 too. I um I can remember a time that I was so broke that I had to ask my baby mama for money. And I was about three months short on child support. Mm. She gave it to me. Do you believe broke is a state of body or a state of mind? Is it is it you know? It's what I'm a saying? state of mind. Yeah. Because, and I'm gonna say this, like I knew back, you know, when I was a young nigga, I knew a hustling ass Jay. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he 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 was fucked up, but he knew how to go get that money to get what he needed. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And he knew how to he and he had kids. And he took care of his kids, but you know what I mean? So I think it's a state of mind. Like he knew how to get money, but that mind state just he was just stuck on that shit. I think people, I think people can literally, you can think your way out of becoming broke. If if you change your mentality, you know what I'm saying? You can. Like I've had people that uh like I've had an ex-girlfriend and she you know she came up on hard times. And I was like, you know, she's like, I'm broke. I'm tired of being broke. But, you know, she's spitting. One, the tongue is a powerful tool. Anyway. It is very so powerful. The most like, powerful. Yeah, if you keep on saying it, you're basically manifesting broke. You're putting it in the air. That, you know, putting it in the atmosphere is real. Like. Yeah, no facts, right? And so um, I remember I was telling her, I was like, man, you need to humble yourself and just focus on the solution and stop dwelling on the problems. And so... Uh, it took about two, three months, and i never forget. She said, she's like, yo, I'm about to go work at this fast food spot or whatever because I got to make ends meet. I said, you know what? You finally understand you're not about to be broke no more. And she's like, what you mean? I'm about to work at fucking God. No, I think it was Crystal's. Uh, she's like, what you mean? I'm about to work at Crystal's. I'm like, nah, but I see your mentality's changing. I say, because sometimes you got to do things that you don't want to do if you want to become the person that you really want to be. You always have to. You know what I'm saying? Think about this. Work without, I mean, prayer without work is nothing, right? That's just a dead prayer. How can you receive anything if you don't go to wherever it's at? How can you want some money if you ain't going to the money? How can you want happiness if you ain't leaving the bullshit? Like, it's like, bro, you really have to manifest. I believe manifestation is definitely real. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be all the way at 100. Like, uh, I'm gonna go deep on some shit with me. Yes, sir. Like um, after Hardaway hit and all that shit went big and everything was going and I was up. When my when my team at the time fumbled, I knew it was over. This time I never said though, like never ever said this on nothing. In my mind it was over and I'm seeing this shit crumble way before it's is hitting the, the out internet. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Before it's hitting the, um, the digital places and platforms, music, like I'm seeing it. I'm like, damn, bro. Something ain't right. Like, you say this, I call them, they say that. Hmm. Now y'all pointing fingers at each other. But then when I just peep, peep, got down the scene, y'all acting like it's me. So you get where I'm going? Wow. And that shit fucked up because now we all bump ahead. And I think ultimately, right? I don't blame nobody in that um in my old shit. Shout out to commission and shit like that. BMG, shout out to them. I just feel like it was just I blame myself for not knowing the business, not knowing what I was doing, not knowing how to have a voice to speak and say, hey man, I ain't doing that. I don't give a fuck what buddy talking about. You know what I'm saying? This what I'm putting out. But me having so much trust and loyalty in a person and, and and believing in them. You know what I'm saying? I let it go like that. And I and I ultimately it, it, it was a spot that put me in another spot. So now here I am manifesting my shit again, bigger than me. All this shit bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what I got going on. You don't know what I've been doing. I've been in the back rank raps, rank lyrics for your favorite rapper, yeah. your favorite RBR. You don't know what I got going. Yeah. But I'm putting this shit together and Come putting on. it to use. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is. Man. That is. Ah, uh, Trump says he's uh Donald Trump is running for president yet again, 2024, and he wants to give drug dealers a death penalty. Oh, thoughts. 
Dangerous. <laughs> Damn. Death penalty. The death penalty. I'm. You know what I think? I don't even believe that's real. I mean, I know he probably said that. Oh yeah, God. That? You he know they say it. shit for clickbait. But if you do that, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go way higher than the regular drug dealers we talk about. Okay. What you gonna do with Big Pharma? You know what I'm saying? What them pharmaceutical companies? You gonna lock? You gonna lock them CEOs up and get them dipping? What you gonna do with all these? Um, the overseas companies, what you gonna try to go goddamn get them? Like, you can't do that. Like, it's impossible because the same people that you calling a drug dealer selling the biggest drug dealers. You get where I'm going? Yeah, I might got a farm full of this shit. Yeah, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who gonna get me with the right one. So, who you gonna lock up? Who going to get the lights in? I meant the death penalty. Who? The black man. Yeah, hell no. Nah, I don't think that's going to work. That is. You feel me? That's praying got enough. That's praying don't, man. Man, I ain't gone. That shit ain't happening, man. All right, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I may be wrong, uh -huh. but every president I've ever witnessed in my life said all kind of shit, and I ain't never seen it when they asked <laughs> when the office. Trump, right. Trump did try to build that wall, though. I will say. Oh yeah, no, I seen yeah, that. That nigga built that wall, boy. <laughs> you know it's um. But that was some petty shit. That yeah, not fact, fact. Though Trump petty as fuck. Yeah, that was. You know, yeah. you know uh, I hate that. You know, I'm not a Trump supporter by by far, but I do respect the fact that Trump is at least honest enough to tell us that he don't fuck with us. Where, I, but I other, be thinking other I, other other candidates. We'll laugh, smile, shake our hands, and and then hide. They man, fuck them niggas. I think it's it's it's, it's the exact opposite with with Trump. I don't know why, but I think so. I mean, he said it's like I don't know when you a businessman, when you really having money, when you a hustler, you cannot forget the black man. You cannot say I don't fuck with the black man because the black man is supplying the business. The, yeah. Your hustle, your grind. You yeah. you gotta have folk. You gotta have folk pay for this shit. You gotta have pay. Well, he got hotel. Somebody got to get an evil. Sure. You sure. know what I'm saying? And who 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 trying to go goddamn travel all goddamn day? So what do you do? Do you go with the lesser of two evils? Because you got you know you got Donald Trump, you got Kanye, and you got Joe Byron. I don't vote. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that like it's I, like do you got shit? Piss a nut. <laughs> you know what which, which, which you supposed to do? Like, okay, I got, I, got, I, got, I can get the shit, I can get the piss, I can get the nut. I, it, it's, it's, I don't vote. I ain't, you know, and I ain't encouraging nobody else not to. But that ain't something I be into, like at all. Like you can't even. They can't. Even, I'm gonna tell you something else. Yeah. Uh, uh, exclusive. Yeah. So you know, with all this campaign shit that was going on, I got a call. You know, uh -huh. oh, we got these folks finna run through Clay County and do a campaign. We want you to come. I kept it gangster with them folk. I said, bro, I don't even vote. Mm. He was like, oh, all right. I said, nah, but you know, I, I mean, I do it on some shit like you know, I'm from Clay County and I know you. That's what y'all trying to you know campaign some shit. Yeah, I do it. I told him I ain't got damn vote. <laughs> And I test the back. He was like, oh, no, you know, you, know, you good, you good. I, I know. <laughs> I don't give a damn. <laughs> that's, that's a good way to get out of jury duty. <laughs> I don't vote, bro. I don't vote. Well, you know what I'm saying? But I do it. I right. do it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do it. <laughs> what is next, man? What can we look forward to, man? Uh, what's next for Therese as a man? Uh, as a man, um... What's next for me is keep growing, keep learning myself and identifying with myself who I am. Mm -hmm. Besides letting motherfucker tell me who I am or what I should be. Um, what's next for me as a man is just spiritually growing also. Um, what's next for me as a man is actually being more involved in my loved one's life than I ever been. Um, music take a toll on that while I'm always going, working on my ways, doing this and that. Oh, I'm more invested in that shit than I am in my house, but I'm going to start making time and making room and separating shit so I can do that. Yes, sir. My kids getting older, my son getting older, man. And the crazy thing, this this is, I got something else, like, and this shit fucked me up, right? Yes, sir. Um, recently, my son um, was in school, and a, and a little boy brought a gun to the school, talking about he was going to kill him. 
they found the little boy, called him, had a gun in the book bag. And that shit just, it just, it just fucked me up mentally. But I had to keep going and drop this shit. You see where I'm going? So it, it, me as a man, I'm just trying to grow and, and, and be there. Because I'm gonna tell you something. Back in my day, you know, we all had one of them uh one of them boys, you know, one of them kids that ate the gum off the bottom of the desk and wore all that black shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I didn't ever disrespect that man or, or, or talk to him crazy. I, I talked to him just like I talked to the biggest nigga in the classroom. And and I had respect for everybody, no matter what they was on. And this is a real life situation that happened to me. And I tried to compare it with my son, and I can't even figure it out. He came to school with a shotgun in his trench coat with a list of niggas he gonna kill. My name wasn't on the list. My name, the only name ain't on the list in the classroom. Wow. And before I go in the class, yeah. I see this nigga. Yeah. He like, yeah, man, don't go to um, Woo Woo Pier. And I'm like, what, man, you tripping? I go. He like, man, don't go. Man, they caught that nigga ass, locked that nigga ass up, man. Then they called me to the office like, why your name ain't on the list? I'm like, man, I don't know. I fuck with him. I talked to him in the back of the class. You know what I'm saying? And I can only man the son. What what did you do for this nigga to bring a gun to school and tell these motherfuckers he gonna kill you? I think it's just dope that the fact of the matter is that you are trying to find some accountability for it. Man, you know I saying? am, bro. Because because you know, like bullying is a thing. Right. You know, and you look at Columbine and, and and we all well I hate to say it more 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 than more more often than not there is always that one person that is on the verge of of doing something crazy. It's <laughs> always that, it's always that one kid that may be on the verge of uh of you know of shooting up the school and uh you know and, and I was the same kind of guy I was just like I should, you know I treat everybody with respect man fair. and it's just like what are we saying or what is being put out to these kids that will drive them to that. To a homicidal state. Man, bro, a lot of the all right, so there's another situation. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna answer the question with explaining this situation. Mm -hmm. I knew another person, you know what I'm saying, in middle school. Um, he wasn't he was less fortunate, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He didn't have as much as others. I mean, neither did all of, we all didn't really, but yeah, he was just really in one of them situations. You know what I'm saying? Didn't want to go home to his family or whatever because it was fucked up in the house. Then you gotta go. You gotta go through that shit at home. Then you come to school and you go through that shit. You going through all this pressure. I'm gonna tell you what happened. This boy went home one day after school, and and again, I had a conversation with him. He was like, "Hey, bro, you know, like, you really shouldn't laugh." Cause I ain't gonna lie. If they joke on your ass, I'm gonna laugh, but not <laughs> not on no bully shit yeah, though. Yeah, like, yeah. if it's funny, it's funny. It's funny, yeah, yeah. Good punchline. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. But um. You know, he was just like, hey, bro, sometimes you, you might, you know, you shouldn't laugh at certain shit because you don't know what nobody going through. Man, no cap, man. The nigga missed school like two, three days. The shit come on the intercom. He went home and killed his whole family and killed himself. Real shit. Real shit. Yeah, man, mental health is real, bro. That's where it's coming, that's where it's coming from. These folks don't know what else to do. You, get, you think you're going to keep punching on me, nigga, in this gym class? You think you're going to keep talking about these, you know what I mean? These pay less shoes, that's all my mom can get, nigga. You know what I mean? You think you're going to keep spending my motherfucking face? No, hell no. Everybody got that turning point. We all do. You got it. I got it. They got it. Kids got it. Women got it. Black, white, orange, yellow, green niggas got it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, man. That's what's going on. People is at their limit. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> that is. Whew. Mental health is real. Let's talk about this mental health Mondays that you've been doing, man. Oh, yeah, man. I like that. Thank you, thank you. Damn, today Monday, ain't it? Yeah. I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I we, we, we still getting it off, though. We yeah, still yeah, getting yeah, it we off. Can, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. It was just a thing where, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, shout out to Rocky for um coming up with, like, a plat making it some type of platform. Yes, sir. It was just something I was doing just to talk to people, like, you know, Instead of me coming on the motherfucker being a rapper mm. or trying to entertain, let me try to help. Let me try to see if I can say something to save a life or two or 
change the trajectory, you know what I'm saying, of a, a, a person's thought process. And um, it worked. Like, you you wouldn't be, you can only imagine the type of DMs I got. Yeah. I'll get, you know people, what I'm people saying? People be going through things, bro. Man, man, going through things. I'm like, damn, my shit was hard, but baby. You know, I don't actually send off cash outs to people, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And not bragging or nothing. I'm just saying, like, it, it, I don't had conversation with some folk that it really touched me that I did that. You know what I'm saying? What do you think the disconnect with black men especially and mental health is coming from? The disconnect was causing the disconnect. Yeah, like 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 a lot of a lot of black men don't even they don't even we don't even talk about it. We don't even pride. Think about it. Okay. Pride. Pride is 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 I'm walking around this bitch a six foot giant and that's how I ain't gonna respect me over I'm a six foot pussy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm crying because of this and that. And, you know, and it, and that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But I done had those feelings, though, bro. Yeah. Well, I'm sitting around talking to my partners or whatever, and I'm like, you know, get real serious or sentimental about something. And they like, damn, bro, don't nobody want to keep hearing you cry all day, my nigga, all that crybaby ass shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you like, damn, so who the fuck I'm supposed to talk to? So now you holding this shit in, and that holding that sad shit in becomes anger. That anger becomes an action. That action becomes a consequence most times. You get where I'm going? So I had actually got help. Like, I've been going, I've been trying to get help mentally, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, my my friends, like my closest friends, like family, used to be like, oh, nigga, you ain't crazy. You just black. <laughs> Them pills, they going to get your ass, going to make you crazy. Or the way they sit you in that room and ask you them questions going to make you crazy. No, nah, them questions make me think. You know what I mean? Now I don't do the pills or whatever. Yes, I don't sir. like even like I'm 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 telling you, bro. I don't do no drugs. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't with that shit. I don't want to feel like I'm slow. I wanna I wanna control my brain. Yes, sir. I wanna control my actions. That's what a man does. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't hard, but I'm learning. So it's like um that disconnect, man. I understand that, bro. And I've been there. Mm -hmm. It's like you ashamed to say. I'm getting help. You see how women can get help. They can yeah. get assistance. It's all cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Welfare, Medicaid, goddamn child support. I mean, um, uh, food stamp, like whatever. They, they ain't trick. They, they, they can walk around and parade it. Mm -hmm. A man can't do that, man. Right. Well, not in nine, not in not. He'll look, he be look, he'll be, yeah, he be looked this week. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I need some Barack here. Or whatever that shit called. What it was? Obama. See, I told him I don't vote. <laughs> but now nah, I ain't vote for him either. You feel me? I don't vote. I voted for Barack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but look, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for sure. It's like, um, we can't say that, bro. Oh, you got training wheels. Like you just said, all the training wheels. Like, yeah, they all. You know what I'm saying? It's like we can't do that shit. That's what the that's what they portray, but you can. I'll be a nigga trying to whiz, and I don't mean that in no funny way. Yeah. You can call me. I'm going to listen. Even with my rap buddies, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I let them know straight up. Hey, bro, we ain't got to talk about music every time you hit me, dog. On those shows. Like, what's up? How you good? You mentally straight? You know what I'm saying? What you doing for the holiday? How the kids? How you yeah. wife? How your mama? Like, I do that. I talk to niggas. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't, niggas ain't understanding. Like, it, it's okay, bro. Do you think... It's healthy for men to cry. Very healthy. Scientifically proven that it's healthy for a man to cry. You know what I'm saying? You're releasing the energy that you've been holding in that's blue, that's 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 drown that's draining your energy when you cry. You release a negative energy. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, I salute it. Cry. I cry with you. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hey man. I, we can sit here and talk all day, man. Yeah, we can, you man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we get real. You know what? Y'all ain't ready for that one yet. <laughs> hey, man, we got to um, we gotta let these folks know where to follow you at, what you got coming up, uh, what they can be expected from you. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, everything, DeBrez, Deshaun, let, us, let, us, let them know. Man, y'all can follow me on Instagram, every social media site, except TikTok, uh, at DeRail Deshaun. My TikTok, DeRail, DeRail Deshaun. It's my daughter. She called hey. me. Hey, baby. I'm on, I'm on daddy at work. Say hi to the rest. She said, hey. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at the red. You know, all that. 
uh, at Dread Deshaun. Um, TikTok is the real Dread Deshaun. YouTube, the same, the red, the shine, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere. There it is. You can follow me at Ugly Money Nietzsche. That's Ugly Money, N-I-C-H-E. Remember, the bigger the dream, the bigger the risk, the bigger the payoff. This has been the Ugly Money Podcast, sponsored by Gorge Rejuvenation Chi and promoting erections, improving stamina, endurance, increasing size and boosting libido. Make sure you go to engorge.com to get yours today. All natural male supplement. This has been the Ugly Money Podcast with the rest. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the truth. I might need some of this. Deshaun. <laughs> <laughs>